Welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop, where, where we will review wrestling memorabilia and talk all things professional wrestling straight from the wrestling ring. Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and today we're going over, uh, sorry I forgot what it was right there, uh, WWE Magazine from September of 2007. We don't really have any certain order that we go over these. We just pick them out of a little random box and go over them. And this one has the game Triple H on the uh, cover. And this was, uh, he had just come back, <coughs> oh, excuse me, from a, uh, a, a quad tear. And this says, Triple H, better, stronger, faster. When they rebuilt him, they have rebuilt, yeah, they have rebuilt him. All right, come this way and we'll look over it. Nice shot of him. 25 moments that changed WWE from it forever. Uh, hot diva action, <laughs> starring Maria Ashley, uh, Crystal. Don't know who she's. Maurice, that's the Mrs. Wife, and Victoria. All new WWE records, which gra uh, grapplers did not nod from the Guinness. <sighs> I guess SummerSlam had just taken place here. Umaga and uh, and the uh, Jackass crew. That was actually a scrap. They had planned for that match, but for some reason or another, it, it, they scrapped it. But yeah, and there's the uh, the game there with. I guess that's some brawls. Is that what that is? Is that, is that what that is? See that? Is this okay. is this autograph? Surely not. It's not. It's just fake. Right, right. But, Guess edited. They yeah. just kind of made it look like yeah. it was. Okay. All right. There's the table of contents, and uh, got a few things there. John Cena, young John Cena, and young Randy Orton, Bastion Booger here. I don't. He uh, young. He's been gone a while. Trish Stratus. She's back again. Yeah, she's still wrestling today. And this girl, she's in uh, Maria. She's in AEW now with her. Uh, husband and uh, there's a young Randy Orton I'm ready for Randy Orton to come back I don't know if he is going to or not but it's a uh, tobacco ad there trying to keep people from using tobacco Oops, sorry. <sighs> Bowflex ad those things were popular when they come out Mark Henry versus uh, Bobby Lashley Bobby Lashley, he's still going today. Mark Henry, not so much. This was when they revamped Saturday Night's main event. They did it for a short time. I know uh, Hogan had a match with uh, Randy Orton at SummerSlam, and they just got kicked off here. And, but yeah, that was a short, little short reboot to that. And then, uh, let's see what we got over here. We're all by the numbers. We're all by the numbers. And then we got a DVD advertisement. <laughs> Those are some of them quite appropriate, but, It's, uh, it's, it's not Powerful a family. families in wrestling. Yeah, it's not a family business. It's a legacy. And then that was a DVD that Orton, Guerrero, McMahon, Von Erichs, Henning, Wyndham's, Ganya's Hearts. Valkin, Va that was Marie and Cologne and Mavia Johnson, Graham, Roger, Funk, and Briscoe. Those were some of the DVD families that were. Some of them are still going. Let's see here. It's Jerry Lawler. Now it can be revealed that Jerry Lawler, the champion of all champions, Jerry the King Lawler, holds the record for most title reigns in sports entertainment. With 124 titles spanning spanning uh, three decades, grappling in the AWA, WCCW, NWA, Mid South, Memphis Wrestling. Don't believe us? Take the King's word for it. We had it all our Memphis territory down there for over 20 years, and we wrestled every single night of the week. And so there's a lot of title changes. I actually believe it's like 150 something. I don't think that's actually true, but. If you look at Wikipedia, it shows he has like, a, I think 156 to be certain. And here's Bastion Booger. Oh, you didn't know? Living in the, what's that? 
living up his revolting name, the fiasco slot snot not rocket into the WWE scene in 1993 and proceeded to turn his stomach everywhere. Booger famously sc sc scrambled in the ring wearing some of the squattest diapers and more in Greece than a, con a carnival funnel cake. He was picked and flicked after his debut. And, and although his memory of hairy man boobs remains <laughs> scared into the fragment little mind. Some things are better. better then they got Moolah there. Slave girl Moolah defeats Judy Grapple in the final tournament to begin the longest reign in women's championship history. Once a s simple valet, the fabulous one trans transitioned into alluring arm candy to making <clears throat> an adverse sadly run her ends. 28 years later, making matters worse, it's all at the hands of Wendy Richter. She's not, they don't even talk about her on TV anymore. Ray's Hollywood Connection. Let's see here. What do you got here? What's his connection to these people? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Newsflash, our superhero Ray Mysterio has ties to TV's other famous heroes. Here's what we discovered. The mask, the tights, high-flying maneuvers. It's a wonder Ray Mysterio hasn't left the ring for a life of crime fighting. Luckily for us, he's staying put in the WWE, but with NBC's Heroes to launch its second season, uh, we wondered whether they might be six degrees of Kevin Bacon, uh, the link between these superpower giants. Turns out there is. Rey Mysterio was in the movie Ready to Rumble with, let's see. This guy, David Arquette. David Arquette, who starred in Scream with. He was actually a WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Lee Scriver. Seen in the Manchurian Candidate with Denzel Washington, who starred in Remember the Titans with Hayden Panettiere. She was in Remember the Titans? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even know she was in that. I didn't either. She's in a lot of other stuff nowadays. <laughs> Alright, then we got uh, Hillbilly Jim over here. By this time, I think the magazine was on its dying days here. Hornswoggle and uh, Fit Finley. Third grade doodle art. I believe that was before he was Vince McMahon's illegitimate son. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Then we got over here, Mr. McMahon's secret stash. Each moment of Randick, the chairman's garage, and shows you what he's hiding. And this is the cage of fo Follies. 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 Okay, well, and it's got, that's, that's, uh, there's no telling what they have in Percy Pringle. Yeah, that's Paul Bear, yeah. <laughs> but this, I know he was called that one. But yeah, there's no telling what, what McMahon has in his thing. Here's, who is that? I don't even know who that girl is. Eye candy. Uh sexy super fan of the month. Oh. Meet the latest contestant of our ongoing search for nationals nation's hottest female. WWE fan. So oh, she was, okay, this is just a fan. Oh, she was I'm just, sure. I'm sure she was. Yeah, she looked like a real wrestling fan there. <laughs> What's it say about the wrestling buddies? Read that. Okay. Wrestling buddies, these old school action dolls are the choice pillows for a nap beneath our desks. There's nothing wrong with cuddling up with a plush ultimate warrior, is there? <laughs> these are, let me see. Stuff, okay, this is stuff the staff is digging. Okay. And the Star Wars lightsaber. Mr. Kennedy on Raw. We never thought we'd miss the platinum blonde loudmouth this much. By the time you read this, let's hope Mr. Kennedy's triceps are all healed up and his lungs are in working order. Cade Murdoch. I remember that Lance Cade, he was a good, they would have been big, but he just got messed up in drugs and whatnot. Pushing the Condemned. That was actually really a pretty good movie yeah, for. It was a good movie. If you like action flicks. I remember renting it. It's been a while since we've seen it. Well, what do we got here? You've got the mic. Oh, this is just people calling in. Oh, yeah. Writing in. Look at this girl's uh, championship belt. Is that a bootleg there? Craft Corner. <laughs> she, she, uh, homemade that. Yeah. Look at that cell phone. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a blast from the past. When was this? 2000? It's 2007. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, <clears throat> All right, crazy days and crazy nights. Let's see. What, what does this got to do with wrestling? Raw interviews. Oh. You just pause it if you want to read those. Yeah. There's a uh, Marcus Corvair. He he wasn't uh he wasn't very wasn't in WWE long. I don't know what happened to him. He did, he disappeared from professional wrestling. And, Jerks of the month. Yeah, these guys. That, I think this guy's actually uh part of the Rocks family. I can't think of his name. Dukes and Dominos. But I think his sister is still Tamina. Tamina Snooker. I think that's Jimmy Snooker's son. Mm -hmm. But he left wrestling altogether too. There's Bobby Lashley. What year did he he graduate high school in '94? He's getting up there nowadays. He, I guess that's a young Bobby Lashley there, All American Gladiator. How to make an action figure? Oh, let's see how I'm you. Sure the process has improved. <laughs> I'm sure, but. This is classic superstars. They, Mattel's got a long ways to. We just got him re-released as a Mattel Elite. Zeus. Yep. He just came out. Johnny Rods. We don't have Johnny Rods yet. Didn't they have an Ultimate Razor? Now? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's been lots of Razor removes. Oh. Man, Tank Abbott. We never. We haven't got. We need a Tank Abbott a Mattel. Oh, let's see here. What we got here? Random. I don't know serious. what they put this stuff in there for. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Pushing some products, I guess. There's uh, this guy was the Product NWA pushing. champion not too long ago. <laughs> Redneck eats country fried steak. He's from Waxahachie, Texas. Hey. Yep. Uh, Trevor Murdoch. This is they were pushing DVDs. DVDs were a big thing. They don't even sell them anymore. What's crazy is they don't put all that stuff on Peacock. There's uh he's still wrestling today. Uh what is this guy in? I, I see what's his name? I see him all the time he come back. Is he still on there? He was part of the hurt business. What's his name? Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin. Yeah, that's that was drawn blank there. Uh, they got hair today, there gone tomorrow. Uh they even got Donald Trump marked out here. This was way before he was president. I don't know what the deal was there. <laughs> Probably wouldn't let him use his image. He knew they were controversial then. <laughs> he, uh, they knew he was controversial. Here's Maria. Cash for questions. Getting uh, hammered by the uh, Umaga. Umaga. He's gone. Yep. She's Divas old. uncensored. Is that, that's Maurice there, ain't she? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the music lady. Yeah, a lot younger. Victoria Crystal. Mm. I remember her. That's been a long time ago. I wanted your votes for the next WWE Diva search. Yeah, go online. Ultimate Monday Night War. They still pushing the Monday Please. Night War stuff here. Okay. Where was WCW Nitro event? That North DX Fox invaded Virginia. and tried to gain. I hadn't even finished it I and finished entry into the building. Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. <laughs> I'll ask you the questions and you see if you can answer them. Okay. Okay. In what year did Monday Night War officially ignite? 94, 95, 96, or 97? Well, they were. I think it was 96, wasn't it? What was it? Oh, let's see. Where are the answers at? Oh, they're over here. I don't know that. Let me see. Two is B. So that would be. No, you're wrong. So it's uh, 95. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm Next one. one. What was the name of WCW Mongoloid Steve Mongo McMichael's pet chihuahua? Chalita, Jose, Baby Doll, or Kenneth? Chalita. Chalita. So I'm going with, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, you're up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. Who made history by becoming first person to appear on Raw and Nitro on the Lake same night? No, yeah. Rick Rude. Rick Rude. Rick Rude. Let me see. It's Rick Rude. 
four C. Yep, you're right. Okay, for how many weeks did Nitro actually defeat Raw in the ratings? Eighty three weeks. And you mean eighty four? Eighty four. Okay. <laughs> you're close. Uh, well, I mean. Considering I didn't give you the answers. Yeah. Okay. Um, strapped for the trash. Who infamously Medusa threw the WCW Alundra Blaze. champion? Alundra Blaze. Medusa. Alundra Blaze. You're pretty good. Got any more? Yeah, there's more. Okay, let's. See. Okay, five. Let me see. Where's six at? Maybe there's a page missing here. No, I don't know where six. Oh, there it is. Okay, we skipped over. Sorry. Yeah. Seven is WCW Monday Nitro was broadcast from what location every year during spring break? Panama yeah. City Beach, Panama Florida. City, Florida. Yep. Okay. True or false? Mr. McMahon made an open challenge to fight false. Eric Bischoff false. on an episode of Raw. False. Okay, let's see. It's false. You're right. <laughs> okay, nine. Place the WCW defectors in order from first to last based on their WWE TV debut. Big Show, Chris Jericho, William Regal, Eddie Guerrero, Chavo Guerrero. And down and else page. Let's see if you're out. Let's see. D B A C E. So William Wrinkle, Big Joe, Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho. Travel and then Was I right or wrong? I don't know. Pretty close. <laughs> you're close. I think you're wrong on the first one. Uh -huh. Anyways, um, number 10. Approximately how many viewers switched channels from Nitro to Raw when WCW announced that uh, Tony Schiavone revealed that Mick Foley would be winning the title? I think it was 300,000. Okay. Is it 300,000 or 500? 300, 400, 500, 600. Is it 300 or 500? Let's see what the answer is. 10 is A, which is 600. I was wrong. You're wrong. It's more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can't be right on them all. Getting Pretty old. close. Getting old, my memory's fading a little. <laughs> which of these spoof characters was not created by WWE in an effort to mock WCW? The Huckster, Scheme Gene, Nacho Man, and Snot Hall. Snot Hall. <laughs> All right. Number 12. When Raw's cumulative Monday night ratings beat Nitro for the first time in two years, what was the show's announced main event? Terry Funk versus Mick Foley, Stone Cold. Stone Cold versus Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. I don't even think it took place. Okay. Yep, you're right. Okay. 13. When WD, WWE defectors Kevin Nash and Scott Hall invaded WCW, what did they call their tag team? The Outsiders. You don't have to check it because I know it's 100% right. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. I'll give you that one. 14. On which date did Mr. McMahon end the Monday Night War and purchase it WCW? Was it was March 23rd, 2001. Let me check you. Yep, you're up. Okay, in which arena was the first WCW Nitro telecast? Mall of America. Fifteen is a, which is Mall of America. Which war did you wage? Which war did you see. wage? That's at the bottom. I don't, what's, what's I don't the, know what that's talking about. I, don't I think that may be an ad. Okay. Okay. Overall, you did pretty good. Let's see here. What a couple we got? of them. Oh, under Maria's hood. <laughs> Boy, they were proud of Maria. I they think she had just posed in Playboy at this time. So they were probably trying to capitalize off that Playboy. Look, they're bringing the style back. Oh, yeah? yeah. I don't know what the. Unbuttoned jeans. Rolled over. Okay, here. Oh, we got rip cartoons. We are ripping up money. How to do everything. Okay. Deal with a bully. Yeah, beat them up. What it looks like. 
Game for the job. Got a flamethrower. Yep. Triple H. He's running the company now, or somewhat running the company. He was. What do we got? Come up in the world, you know. Married, married up in the world. Yeah, married well. World records. Let's see. WWE Genesis World Records. Oldest person to ever win a WWE Championship. Vincent, Vince and I think that still holds today. Yeah. Uh, Youngest winner of WWE Championship is Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. I think that's still the case today too. I think I don't know. Don't you know? Y'all don't beat me up too bad if I'm wrong here. Uh, uh, most wins of Royal Rumble. I think uh, that's been erected, but that's not. It was Stone Cold at this time, but I don't think. I think. I think Roman Reigns has been most consecutive Royal Rumble wins. The Stone Cold. It was hot, hot. Yeah. Hulk Hogan and Shawn Michaels. The most WWE championships won The Rock at this time. At the, oh, the WWE championships. Mm -hmm. They changed it so much, I don't know who holds it now. Most WWE Women's Championships won were Trish Stratus. Yeah, well that's Charlotte Flair now. Yeah, gonna beat her out. What we got going on about Hulk Hogan? Queen. 25 moments to change. WWE history. What is it? Read that. First one. worldwide icon of wrestling. A superstar is born. Every era has its stars. The top card talent who packs arenas night after night. Names like Lou Thez, Bob Backlund, and Bruno San Martino come to mind, but it was the right, it was the night Hulk Hogan defeated the Iron Sheik in Madison Square Garden that the modern wrestling superstar was truly born. Overnight the regional hero of yesteryear made way for the charismatic, larger-than-life national phenomen phenoms as superstars like the Hulkster, Randy Macho Man Savage, Jake the Snake Roberts, and the Ultimate Warrior invaded living rooms of millions of families across the country. With Hulkamania unleashed on the world, there was no bottling it back up again. Just as the flapping of butterflies' wings can cause a tornado, the smallest actions can spur a seismic shift in sports entertainment. As proof, we offer this definitive list of people and events that created today's WWE. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, here's the events. So, okay, so that was 25. Yeah. And then uh, 24. What's number 24? 24 is in the 1920s wrestling matches lasted for hours with the com competitors rarely ever getting off the mat attendance ultimately bottomed out and then from there the cornfields of iowa emerged toots mont a promoter with a vision for a faster more exciting style of wrestling calling it slam bam western style wrestling you keep moving it away from me i can't yeah, read I know, it I his method it. showcased finishing moves like the drop kick and the suplex Soon, Mott's began booking wrestling feuds and establishing time limits, exploiting fans, favorites, and antagonists. He set the foundation for what is standard today in sports. And, 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 His name was Toots Mott? Yeah, he was the. He actually started the WWF and then he was partnered okay. with Vince McMahon. 22. And you you got to read 23. Oh, sorry. 23. WWE loses SmackDown on primetime of $4.29.99. After 300 episodes of Raw, WWE launched its first spinoff show on the fledgling UPN network with new stage The Ovaltron and the Iron Fist. Color Scheme Blues. SmackDown became the first weekly primetime sports entertainment TV series going national during the 8 to 10 o'clock time slot. Was risky Propos proposition considering Thursday nights were already packed with ratings dominant when sitcoms and thing? WCW Thunder as it turned out the popularity of the new series was too much for the TNT which moved its programming to Wednesday nights after a mere six months after Smackdown's premiere oh. so I guess it did well now it's on Friday mm -hmm. yeah, it's bigger than Raw now yep number 22 the body moves into the governor's mansion of 1499 
With his feather boas and earrings, the body's fashion sense was louder than his commentating. But after retiring, Ventura pursued a career in politics, serving as the mayor of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota from 99, or 91 to 95. In 98, he won the Minnesota gubernatorial race as an independent. It was the first time a superstar had held a major public office, and it showed that wrestlers can be as brainy as they are brawny. And then 21 is the Rock and Sock, or the Rock and Wrestling Connection, not the Rock and Sock. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> a little later. But uh, during the early 80s, WWE tag team with MTV and delivered one, two combos, music and sports entertainment that was instru instrumental in bringing both entities to the masses. Cindy Lauper and Mr. T began meshing it up with WWE, Captain Lil Bano and Rowdy Piper were appearing in music videos, Timberlands, Throw It On Me, and videos continue to the traditions today. All right, number 20, Vern Gagne. There are many wrestlers uh, turned trainers who have transformed mere mortals into legends in the ring. However, no one has approached the success of Vern Gagne, the owner, promoter, and star of the American Wrestling Association from 1960 to 1991. The list of alumni who have graduated his esteemed wrestling school leads like a Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Ric Flair, Kurt Henning, Bob Backlund, Ricky Steamboat, The Iron Sheik, Jimmy Valant, Sergeant Slaughter, and Jimmy Snuka, just to name a few. <clears throat> and in 19, Freebirds make an entrance. In the 90, early 80s, Michael P.S. Hayes, Terry Gordy, Buddy Jack Roberts, famed uh, fabulous Freebirds, uh, made the entrance to the illusion of Leonard Skinner's Freebird. In the crowd reaction, the song was so powerful that the superstar theme music became commonplace in the, uh, I don't know. If not compulsory. You know, without the uh, Freebirds, there would be no sexy boy. I don't think, I think Gorgeous George was the first one to ever make an entrance with music, but, you know, I, Michael Hayes has always said that. I mean, everybody wants to be the first then you got a little picture of Michael Hayes or Doc Hendricks, whatever you want to call him at this, whatever he was. I was there. Michael P.S. Hayes. Terry Gordon would say, Oh, hell, Michael. I don't know, mixing music and wrestling, but I had this idea since I was 15 years old. The people at the wrestling matches were the same people I would see at the concerts, and I knew there was a marriage there. Once I convinced Terry, I had to convince the promoters, the first one that I tried, and I said, Ah, they're on those marijuana pills, ain't they? <laughs> Eighteen, we'll 18 is next. Okay. Alrighty. Piper opens his mouth in the pit. One twenty-four eighty-four. Accepting that Rowdy Rowdy Piper's big mouth could not be silenced, WWE put his flapper to good use in the form of a talk show. Piper's Pit. The segment was responsible for some of sports entertainment's most infamous moments from Piper smashing a coconut on Jimmy Snuka's head to his dousing of Morton Downey Jr. with a fire extinguisher. But let's not forget that the Pit also saw Andre the Giant challenge Hulk Hogan for a title match at WrestleMania 3. And more recently, the Boogeyman's ingestion of Jillian Hall's mole. Even today, it remains the standard for talk shows within the show take notice edge let's see who else uh, what is Miz the only one still that has a talk show uh yeah I think so I don't know I don't know and we got 17 cruiserweight cruiserweights I'll read it since it's over here Brian Pillman won the okay cruiserweights take flight 1994 Brian Pillman won the first ever cruiserweight championship in WCW on 10-27-91 but it was three years later when WCW joined with the AAA and Mexican wrestling promotion that high-flying Lucha Libre wrestling was introduced into American audiences. At one shot pay-per-view, when worlds collide, the promotion showcased the awesome talents of Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. It was probably what inspired Paul Heyman to bring Mysterio and Psychosis to ECW, where the duo performed a series of Mexican death matches Soon after, WCW breathed new life into their cruiserweight division, and the belt that debuted in 91 is still alive and well on SmackDown today. Let's see. 16. The Rock brings the funny. 318 of 2000. 23 years ago. <laughs> it used to be that superstars who appeared in films on TV shows 
where Typecast is one dimensional tough guys. But the People's Champ hosted Saturday Night Live where he delivered huge ratings and big laughs and outperformed such wooden athlete hosts such as Derek Jeter, Tom Brady, and Wayne Gretzky. As a result, The Rock's acting career shot into Hollywood A list stratosphere, and current WWE superstars are getting the chance to grapple with roles that are a bit meatier than Cyborg number two. Nobody has quite did it on the level that The Rock has done it, though. No, they've tried. Yeah. John, John Cena's doing pretty good. He's got yeah, but he's, moves, still not but he's still not, not The Rock. In Hollywood, anyway. Read this one. All right, wrestling gets KG. Number 15, back in the day, Houston promoter Paul Bosch Bosch proposed a unique way for Jack Bloomfield and Count Petro Rossi to sit, settle their feud, surround the ring with chicken wire to keep them in and others out, and it worked, becoming the first official, official cage match in wrestling history. Alternate versions of the cage were created, but it wasn't until the late 60s that Freddie Blassie and promoter Mike LaBelle <clears throat> added the stipulation for a wrestler to climb over the top or walk through the door. And then it's number 14. We are not going. This just talks about Ron Simmons becoming the first African American world heavyweight champion. Number 13 is the horseman build a stable. And let's see. It's got the, that's the original horseman there. Yeah. And number 12 okay. is the feud between the king and the comedian. Yeah. Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman. I bet, you know, I bet to this day that still hurts Vincent Man that Memphis got that. And number 11 is the, the end of a war. That's when Vince McMahon brought uh, WCW. Number 10 is Andre the Giant's birth to a giant. Or it's his mother gives. It's Andre the Giant's birth is what it is. And then we'll, we'll skip down here and go to... What is number, number nine? The Montreal Screwjob. Ain't no sense to talk about this. It's been done to death. I get sick of hearing about it. Number eight is, uh, what is that? Let the bodies hit the floor. When Shane Doug, what is that? Become the Shane new. Shane Douglas. Oh, yeah. NWA the creation of the NWA. I mean. Okay. Number seven is. Breaking away from the NWA. Who broke away from, who's just talking about breaking away from the NWA? Uh, WWF. Yeah, that's when Buddy Rogers become the first heavyweight champion. Okay. Number and six, it, WCW fires the future. Well, he wasn't Stone Cold then, so, I mean, they, they can say what they want to. But I mean, he was good in WCW, but I don't know why they fired him. And number five is is a... Uh, gorgeous talking about, George. Yeah, gorgeous George. Yeah. He was really the first sports entertainer, professional wrestler, you might say. I don't know where the other five are. Maybe we'll find them. We're going to jam on through the magazines. Look at this cool merch. Yeah, what we got? Backpack? Young John Cena? What we got there? Book Calendars. covers. I don't know merch I'd be interested in buying. <laughs> watches. Watches. Uh, yeah, you can be a virgin forever wearing one of those watches. <laughs> <laughs> T-shirts. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's more your game. You need more... Any, any good t-shirts in there? I like the Undertaker. Mr. Kennedy. Yeah. And that Undertaker one's pretty cool. Let's see here what we got. DVDs. It was always... I remember... Pushing the DVDs. Those DVDs were expensive back then. It's just amazing how e easily you can watch wrestling content compared to the way it used to be. Even in... I mean, this wasn't that long ago. Here's Fif some more shirts. 15 years ago. There's the Hardy Boys. Hey, I'm talking. Sorry. You tell me I'm talking about... You know, back then you didn't have YouTube right, or high grandpa. speed internet. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the Hardy Boys, yeah. MVP. CM Punk, he's still around today, causing trouble. There's Batista. A young one. And John Cena. There's a boogeyman. A boogeyman. He always creeps me out. Looking for his it way to eat. Get you a hat and some slippers. <laughs> some fuzzy slippers. <laughs> Get John Cena on your toes. You wouldn't even know they were there because you couldn't see them. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties there. Yeah. Camera popped off the stand. You can even order it. And... You can just get, some... get on WWE shop. Get some cups, some tumblers. What we got here? Oh, and that's my stuff. Those foam belts, they were cool. How much is a foam belt? Had to be foam belts, sir. Yeah. 
I don't know what they are. I don't know. Probably not because that one's three hundred fifty dollars. Oh yeah, it's probably figurines. The spinner belt, belt was was uh, three fifty as well. They're okay. pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we are. Back to number four. The Monday night well, Monday nights get raw. That's when the of course he was. Of course, they get hit top five. We're all going to be WWE moments. Yeah. And that's first Monday Night Raw. And then number three is Pay Per View gets Mania. First WrestleMania. It was good. Uh, number two. WCW dominates. Oh. There's yeah. a Hulkster. Yep. And then number oh, one man. is Vince. Uh, Vince takes Wrestling National. Of course. Well, of course he had to be number one. What about that uh, XFL? Did he take that national too? <laughs> uh, the rock on that now. Still talking about diva searches here. I guess that was popular time. And here's the here's the here's the merch. Spinning belts. I didn't even know if they sold this, but that would have been cool to have the AWA. Look how expensive it was. Yeah. Ultra oh, okay. That's like a extra large. Yeah. Ultra deluxe. Nine. Yeah. But adult size was still yeah. four hundred bucks. You might as well get the uh, the six hundred dollar version there. But <laughs> these were some. And look, you bought that same belt for about that price, four hundred bucks. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, it's about that. About what I paid for it. Yeah. And then Ray Mask. Here's some shirts. Young Randy Orton. Young the, Randy Orton. The gun show. He's a young whippersnapper. And we got some, uh, this Randy Orton is showing you how to. This is your workout, how uh, to get like Randy Orton. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Here, lift your dumbbells, get your bar. You can, you can be one too. How to beat a hangover. Okay. And, uh. <sighs> SummerSlam. Some merch ad there. Video games. I guess they're talking about video games here. Look at this show. Football. I guess this is less like current events. This is this says Section. advertising 2K or something like that. No. These are oh, okay. Bought, bought ads in this magazine here. And the TV show. Yeah. They've been plugging it the whole magazine. Movies. What we got over here? What kind gear. of gear? Oh, you can get a wallpaper for your phone. Ooh. And a wrestling ringtone. Text 77555. Yeah. How much does it say? How much? You can get a video tone. Yeah. That was high class right there. Mm hmm. Probably get a ringtone. Is there ringtones on there? That's what I said. Something, uh, video tones. I don't know. Anyway, you can get them for free now. <laughs> Uh, between the nobody, ropes. Nobody has ringtones anymore. <laughs> nah. Kind of played out. Back in the day, it was the jam, though. You weren't cool unless you. I never noticed that. People don't do ringtones anymore, do they? They don't. Played out. Anyway. Some different highlights of matches and stuff. And what's going on here? Six time the charm. Brian Kendrick and Paul London team for what could be their last appearance on SmackDown and Classic Six Man Tag Team. With team with Jimmy Wang Yang and High Fine Trio defeated Cruiserweight Champion Chavo Guerrero, Davari, and Jamie Noble. Hmm. Uneventful. What are they comparing, uh, over here, they're comparing Johnny Nitro versus Gorgeous Fantasy George. Fantasy Warfare. People do that. I, not really. That's not really my, what I would consider Fantasy Warfare, but I'd like to see Gorgeous George versus Ric Flair, but Johnny Nitro is not on, was not on George, Gorgeous George's level. Johnny, whatever his last name is. He's still on there. He's on AEW now, Johnny TV. <laughs> He's had so many Johnny names. Uh-huh. And then we got here, we got the calendar for September. And 
talking about this is sensational sherry i guess she had just passed away oh, here remembering her yeah and then we got uh, nowadays hmm. this whole calendar is like full well, it's pretty full here too i don't <laughs> no, see but one day true. there 27th it looks like the only off day then you got over here you have a ringside collectibles ad wrestling i didn't realize they'd be around that long oh they've been around a long time yeah Those. What, oh, Elimination Chamber? Yeah. Place your bets on SummerSlam. It already happened. What would be the reason to <laughs> bet for? It had already taken place by the time this magazine was out. You got here with the 80s or what is this? Greatest here? Summer Feuds. What the Greatest Summer Feuds, huh? We got Sean Crusaders Michaels versus, versus City of Anak. Scottish versus the English. What is this? It's just going over. Oh, it's like a history? Okay. I guess so. I don't yes, know really it is. Know. That's weird. Okay. I don't know who come up with those writing these. That's talking about when the Ultimate Warrior beat the Honky Tonk Man in 31 seconds. Guess the match. Let's see if I can guess the match. It's kind of hard to see because... Uh, not giving right. you much to guess with. How do you know if you if you guessed it if it's right or wrong? I don't know. I can't guess it. It's at the bottom. Oh. You had to be there. Some little we action got, shots of some figures. Yeah. Then you got Wrestle WrestleMania, WrestleMania 24. 24 from Florida. Yeah. They haven't done it in Florida a bunch. Yeah. The Citrus Bowl. I remember watching that one. All right, that concludes it, guys. We hope you enjoy, uh, enjoyed this. And if you like this kind of content, follow us. And human interaction is always good for the channel. Like and subscribe. Thanks.